Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about four of this new update. Now in this video, I want to discuss about that password helper. Password helper that I've also updated. Like here, if you go, I want to now generate of the new one. First of all, better I want to go to the Tinker. If you go to the Tinker, that will be a PHP. Sorry, here I want to go to the PHP and then Artisan and then Tinker, okay? So that will be the PHP artisan tinker. Now we can able to you access our shell. So into the shell area here, I want to do, I want to run as a str. So that will be as a str, str, and str. I want to access that password. So that will be the password, password. So right now, if you want to access that str password, now if you click as the enter, now that will be generated. Hmm, sorry, here str password. That will be as a str str and then password function okay password i want to call it now click as enter now you can see it's now generated one of the str password so they have all the default very encrypted password now that is our password okay and also if you want to apply a specific some of the character like how many character rise password if you want to create you can also now set it in that case you have to write down again as a str and that will be as a password Okay, as to your password right now i want to set it like as a just simply generated some of the 15 character okay i make it as a 15 character password now if you click as a enter now you can see it's now generated one of the 15 character password and also if you want to increase it as a str and i want to now create one of the new one i make it as a password and password now into generated one of the like as a 30 okay 30 type our one of the character password I want to create now click as enter now you can see it's not generated one of the 30 character password so that is the new updated you can actually now use it as a str password which will by default that will be generated this type of the password rather then you can also now allocate a specific some of the character for the password now that is our password helper okay friend I hope it's very very much clear to you Another one is remove duplicated. The duplicated actually that is actually used in Laravel 9. So in Laravel 10, that is actually removed totally from to this Laravel 10. And duplicated means uh, in Laravel 9, you can actually use some of the route home, then the dispatch now, and then also the assert time send. So this type of one of the duplicated is actually used in Laravel 9. So everything is now totally removed from to the Laravel 10. Okay, so here right now you can actually use uh, you can you cannot use any duplicated and then that is a process layout process layout actually that is also very a uh, core developer mm, functionality here actually if you go to the laravel official website and here you can see that is a process interface actually i really don't know why where that actually will should be used like they are using that process run as a la so if you want to run some of the things as a result as an output there is some of the command if you want to run as a cat fast text if you want to access some of the directory you can also use Use it as a command direct then automatically that will be get all that your directory all that data so as i told you is very uh, maybe core functionality for the core developer but in real life project i think you may not face this type of one of the command for your project so they have some of the update there's a process interface and also they have updated another package as a laravel planet okay so that was actually the last list as a laravel planet so that is one of the package if you, you can actually get this package if you go to that uh, packages into the packages area right now there is also another one as a planet you can see there is a new package is actually created that is also not related in our real life project and that is you can actually generate it some of the text user first of all you have to install that planet and then you have to publish it like like here if you want to create some of the functionality and also if you want to assign it uh, that which user that is a local host that is a you can see that is our internal team member if you for a specific some of the function if you want to get that which uh, internal team user will be able to access it or the you, you, you will be able to update it you can make it as a true rather than for the higher traffic customer you can make it as a false 
false that means this customer will be not able to access our this functionality he will be not able to update it so that is also one of the core development fun function so that is also another new package is released so that is our laravel panet okay one of the new package is added into the package area so friend that's all as i told you before laravel 10 is very stable one of the version here they have no major changes from to the laravel 9 if you already know that laravel 9 is totally fine you can build up your any project as per your demand only you may face some of the issues when you install any third party packages when these third party packages will be available for the laravel 10 version you can also smoothly use everything okay so friend that's all for now for the laravel 10 if i get any update for laravel 10 i will also let you know about this so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video